Hi, I'm Evan Weisblatt. I am your singer's chorus teacher at Murray Avenue School. I also do teach general music, but um, I'll talk to you a little bit about chorus at Murray Ave tonight. So let me get my face out of the way and then I'll give you some uh, a few details that are very important for you to know as your singer begins chorus this school year. All right, a little bit about me, just so you can get to know who I am. Uh, I went to Temple University I got I double majored in vocal performance and music education. Um, currently working on uh, almost finished my master's degree in music education from University of the Art University of the Arts. Pardon me. I've been playing guitar since I was ten years old, so quite a while. I also play piano, and this is a picture of me at the Grand Canyon this summer. My fiance and I uh, took a really awesome national parks trip this summer. Uh, we went all the way from Arizona up through Montana, and uh, I, I just love the national parks. I'm a big national parks guy. This is my cat, Whiskey, and this is my cat, Daffy. Uh, they are very cute, but they're also a little bit evil because, you know, cats. This is my dog, Buddy. I love him very, very much. He is 14 months old and 80 pounds, so he's quite a big guy. I love acapella music. This is uh, one of my favorite groups, Pentatonix. I'm a big fan of The Office. I've watched the whole series probably about seven times over. I just, uh, no, I just really love this show. Um, this is a picture of me proposing to my fiance at the zoo. We love animals, so that's why I chose the zoo. Uh, this is my nephew, AJ. He's a silly guy. This is my nephew, Benji. I love them very, very much. And I like to play, uh, in my rare spare time, I like to play a little FIFA and Madden. Moving on. So real quick, I want to talk about our motto, or our, I guess I would say mission in chorus class. Um, so our job in chorus, I explained to the singers, is to sing well so we can make great music and give awesome performances. Um, when we do those things, we feel really successful and we feel like we're accomplishing things together. And that, I think, really creates a joyful, fun experience and the feeling of being part of something. We can't do those things though if we don't follow this motto, make this place where make this a place where everyone wants to be and feels like they belong. So what I'm explaining to the singers in class this week and next week, really uh, drilling home to them is that the way we conduct ourselves in chorus, if we're not making sure that the way we, we act in chorus is in a manner that is making everyone feel like they belong in the room and making everyone feel like they want to be there. If we don't aren't doing those things individually, then uh, it's going to be really hard to be successful and to sing well, make great music, and give awesome performances. Uh, what does your child expect every day in chorus? Well, it's uh, pretty straightforward. We warm up, uh, we do some musicianship skills training, uh, like a little music theory, uh, sight reading, things like that. That's why you see Three Minute Theory, Solfeggio Madness, and we sing, of course. Uh, grading in chorus, pretty straightforward. Assessments and participation. So assessments means uh, a handful of times throughout the year, we will do some singing assessments. Uh, this is on an individual basis that the singers do at home uh, and they do it through Flipgrid. And this is simply so that I can hear each singer individually at certain times throughout the year. So I know how their voice is developing. So I know how to help them become a better singer. I really strongly believe that if the, uh, the singers are given the tools they need to get better at their singing, they'll feel more empowered and that'll motivate them further. Uh, concerts, of course, are a big part of the grade as well. That's one of the big reasons why we why we do this, why we do this group activity. And um, participation, of course, this is a team a team activity, and we need all the team members to participate well in order to be successful. So that means being on time, having a positive positive attitude, encouraging others. You know what we went over with the motto. And um, also that means attendance at the evening rehearsals, which I'll talk about in a moment. Some important dates for you. There's a lot on this slide. Do not worry. I will be sending home regular reminders throughout the year as necessary. So that way you do not have to necessarily stress over, oh, wait, when was that next chorus rehearsal that we have to go to? No, uh, I will send you regular reminders. I just want to throw this at you to get it in your head uh, now. So uh, the big important things are concerts, dress rehearsals, and then the individual rehearsals. So the concerts are super, super important. It is absolutely mandatory, required that your singer be at the concert. I would hope that they would want to be there anyway. That's what we're working towards throughout the year are the concerts. A quick note on the concerts. Uh, we are planning to have in-person 
uh, normal concerts this year. Obviously, anything can change at any time, as we've learned over the past two years. But we are planning to have regular a return to regular concerts. Um, so information will come out about that as we get closer. But I'm really excited about getting to back to those more normal performances for your for your singers. I know we've been missing them a lot. So the winter concert, Thursday, December 2nd at Lower Moreland High School, the auditorium there, your singer should arrive at six o'clock. This way we can warm up and get ready. And then the concert begins at seven. So yep, singers get there at six, concert begins at seven. And then the same thing, Wednesday, May 11th at the high school is the spring concert. Same deal, arrive at six, concert at seven. We'll talk about uh, the dress code for the concerts in a moment. The dress rehearsal is really important. Those also take place at the high school. I'll remind you of this as we get closer. November 30th for the winter concert. It runs from six o'clock PM to 7.30. Okay, a little bit longer because during the dress rehearsals, we have some more things to navigate, like getting onto risers, dealing with sound equipment, things like that. And then Tuesday, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that should say Tuesday, May 10th. I'll fix that real quick. Tuesday, May 10th, same time for the dress rehearsal for the spring concert. I will announce the rehearsals for the January through May period uh, later this fall as we get closer to that. Again, we are hoping to return to Dorney Park this May, Friday, May 27th. That is an optional field trip. We love Dor the Dorney Park trip. The singers uh, perform for some uh, collegiate level judges so we can get some feedback and have that really um, cool, exciting performance experience and get some feedback on our singing to make us better. But then we spend most of the day uh, having fun riding rides and and bonding at Dorney Park. So that's a that's a huge, exciting thing that everyone is looking forward to. Uh, so yeah, we are intending to go to Dorney this year. A quick note about the rehearsals, then we'll talk about attire, and then I think I'll wrap things up. So rehearsals, the evening rehearsals. Your singer will only need to be at a few, aside from the dress rehearsals, throughout the entire school year. It's really important that your singer comes to the rehearsal when they're supposed to. Because like I said, chorus is a team thing. If we're missing members of the team, it's really hard to get accomplished what we need to do. Your singer only needs to come to the rehearsals for their voice part. So a voice part, if you're not familiar, is like an instrument group, okay? So in chorus, we have baritones, tenors, altos, and sopranos. Your singer will be assigned a voice part in the coming weeks, okay? So they only need to come to the rehearsals that are for their voice part, or for all singers. For the baritones and tenors, that would be October 26th, altos November 1st, sopranos November 9th, and for right now, I'm trying to have all seventh and eighth graders on November 15th. Those regular rehearsals are just in the Murray Ave cafeteria, six o'clock to 7.15 p.m. And again, those only happen a handful of times throughout the year, so not a huge commitment, but super crucially important that your singer comes to those, so please prioritize. I'll be sending out regular reminders. Concert attire, pretty straightforward, all black. Not a huge fan personally of the white top for concerts because of spotlights. Spotlights tend to really not look good on a solid white shirt, especially in chorus, we're facing the those spotlights because we're facing the audience. So I prefer the look of all black and uh, semi-formal. So meaning I expect um, nice dress shirts. So this polo that I'm wearing wouldn't quite cut it. Uh, dress shirts, if you want to wear a tie, great. Dress shirts, uh, dress pants, blouse, skirt, anything like that. Not a huge fan of leggings for the concerts. If it's the only thing that you have that's black for bottoms, I understand, but just not a huge fan of leggings. Uh, and then simple, elegant accessories are okay. We just don't want any huge like brooches, for example. I love a good brooch, but they can sparkle and be very distracting in a spotlight like other more distracting uh, jewelry pieces on stage. Okay, so... Um, the course guidelines, please take a look at those when they come home to your, uh, they, when they come home with your singer over the next week or two, they'll really go into detail about the things you need to know for chorus this year. Uh, and then once you've read those guidelines, please go to your child's Canvas course for this class and just fill out a quick Google form, letting me know you've read them, you, you're, on, you're on the same page with me about them any possible conflicts you might have with, with rehearsals, anything like that. Let's get that out of the way early. Um, but I would really appreciate that. I'll be sending home reminders for that. If you have any questions, this is my email, eweisblatt at 
lmtsd.org. Please feel free to contact me as you see fit. I'm just really looking forward to a, a more normal school year and chorus experience with your singer this year. Um, real quick, if you were in chorus class with us, you would see uh, just excited faces, um, some laughing because we, I like to have a good time. You know, we'll, we'll joke back and forth a little bit as appropriate, um, but just to create a really nice, fun environment, welcoming environment, uh, and just a lot of really beautiful singing and music making and creating something special together. I want course to be a special, comfortable, exciting place for your singer. And so everything I do strives to make that happen. Again, please reach out with any questions and I look forward to a wonderful school year.